Okay, so what we want to do here, let's take a look at this one. So I guess we're just supposed to kind of simplify this. So your first step looks good. We'll turn this into one over cosine. Now, yeah, in order to do this, we want to get a common uh, denominator. And so see, uh, tangent tangent should we should be able to turn that into sine over cosine and we should actually have an lcd so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead so let's not worry about this let's go ahead and go down here so we have one over cosine of x minus and so what's going to happen is you should end up with a sine of x squared because tangent will turn into sine over cosine and then you'll have that over cosine of x and so you have your lcd now okay and so then this will come together as one minus sine of x squared over cosine of x and then you should know from your uh, pythagorean identities and i'll just go ahead and pull them up here let's see oops here we go oh, here we go so your Pythagorean identities right here, you can see um, that we can replace uh, 1 minus sine squared with cosine squared. So we'll go ahead and do that. So, so this will be cosine of x squared over cosine of x. And so that square, you know, basically means that there's two cosines there. Um, just to make sure we're getting this. So we have cosine of x cosine of x over cosine of x and so we'll go ahead and cancel one of those out and so our final answer is just actually cosine of x that's it and so identities can definitely be challenging they're like a puzzle and to be honest you know you're gonna you're gonna gain as much knowledge as you can now but as you move forward into pre-calculus a lot of this stuff you'll revisit again and you'll get some more and more and it really it takes time um, but anyways there's that one here's our next one that you uh, sent and so what we want to do here um, if you look at sine of 2x I'm going to go back to our identities Let's see here we go So you can see right here we have sine of 2a is equal to 2 sine of a cosine of a. So that's the first one that I'm going to apply here. So going down here, I'm going to turn this into 2 uh, sine of x times cosine of x, or you know, it doesn't really matter what order you put it in. It doesn't really matter. All over 2 times the cosine of x squared. And then what we can do here is the twos can cancel out, okay? And then this cosine is going to cancel out with one of the cosines here, okay? So when those cosines cancel out, we're going to end up with sine of x on top over cosine of x. And then that should just reduce by the quotient identity into a tangent of x. And so like I said, I've just say it over and over again you know these take a lot of time to get really good at and so it just takes a lot of practice if you like puzzles you know a lot of times these can be a lot of fun um a lot of times though you'll you'll uh, go down some dead ends and you just kind of have to start over and just kind of take it from there so i hope this helps you